<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Tracy Matthews and I'm here today with Sheras, who is a real video rock star. I'm so excited to be here with you today, Cher. Thank you Yay! so much. Yay! Uh, this is round two. We actually just tried to film this and it didn't work out, so we're going again. <laughs> the <I'm> um, me. <laughs> so I get to get great information from Cher twice. And I'm saying this is listen to everything that Shara says because she has really good advice and I didn't listen to her advice and ended up having some technical difficulties. So we're going to get started. She really knows what she's talking about. All right, Cher is best known as a former bassist for the 80s rock band Vixen. And I used to watch them on MTV all the time, so I'm like, I was super excited to get to know her in real life. Um, and if you didn't know, they were a platinum-selling all-female rock band. <laughs> For many years, she went on to become a video rock star and producer for clients that included Sony, Geffen, Universal, and BMG. She um, hosted several successful online shows and then realized that she was constantly helping her friends get comfortable and confident um, in front of the camera, including me, by the way. <laughs> so she was also helping them kind of create scripts for their videos and kind of make the best videos possible for their brand. She decided to launch Video Rockstar University, and I think it was last year, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yay. I remember when you were launching. Um, in order to help other female entrepreneurs unleash their inner rock star on camera. Shara, thanks again, and thank you so much for being here today. Yay. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. I am. I'm so excited to have you here to ask you so many great questions about using video for uh, for any business, but specifically for a jewelry business. So my first question for you today is, how do you think video builds trust? That's a great question. And video is really like getting to meet somebody in person. It's like, you know, I can't fly up to New York and hang out with you to see if I want to work with you to design my jewelry, but I could check out your video and that is going to make me feel like I'm getting to know you. And another really cool part about that is because we're such a global community now and we're used to purchasing from from people who live in completely different countries so if you have a video online at two o'clock in the morning I might be up looking for who's gonna design something for me and I might click on your video and go that's the person I wanna know and 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 the whole thing is that the trust factor comes about from uh, you know being comfortable and confident on camera and having conversations on camera instead of having this you know stiff uncomfortable narrative so it's really about getting to that place where you're coming across on camera just like how you are in real life because we forget that the camera is is really like talking to a person it's really like talking to one person but the trust factor huge and when people trust you they want to like you they want and if they like you they want to work with you that is true and I was telling you earlier and I was gonna tell the story again so everyone else can hear about how when I did my rebrand, uh, one of the tools that we wanted to use um, that I decided with my designer was to use a video on the home page to kind of introduce who I was um, and kind of talk about the work that I do. And I even included some clients in the video, kind of like working with some of my clients. And I actually um, showed this to someone who I actually, I didn't know him very well at the time. And we just, we were actually dating for a little bit. And when I sent him over to the website, I say this because it's kind of a funny story because he came back to me like the next time I saw him and he was like, oh my God, like that video was so great and like I feel like I really know you and like I know so much more about your story and it's really inspiring and I was like, wow, that's a great marketing tool and he looked at me like I was a crazy person <laughs> and I was like, no, no, I mean, let me take that, let me backtrack a little bit. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, I just want to go on a date with you. I know. But that just shows, see, like, he I know. liked you from your video. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but the whole point of it is that, like, I got to kind of um, express my personality um, in a different kind of form. So, like, if I'm working with someone, like, I have a lot, most of my clients aren't in New York. Um, I do have a lot of clients in New York, but a lot of them, like, I just worked with someone in Paris. And had she not been able to see my video and, like, learn a little bit more about me, you know, I might not have... Um, landed that project you know it seemed it when I got to know her better it seemed as though we had a, a lot of things in common like we both lost our mothers and oh, stuff wow. like that so right. it's just a great way to connect with people and I feel as though that um, 
before people even have a chance to talk to me, like you, like you were talking earlier, is that I've already built this level of trust with them. Oh, definitely. And I, yeah. I, another thing I always say is like, look at your own behavior. If you go to a website and there's a video there, you're going to click on it because you right. want to find out what they're like. Well, what are they really like? So, so true. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, my next question for you is, what are some of your favorite ways to use video online? Oh, I love this question because the, the first thing that everybody thinks is like, you know, okay, well, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to talk about my business. But there are other ways that you can dive in as well, which are hardly used. And if you start using these ways, you'll really stand out. And um, one of them is to do video testimonials for people that you work with or people that you love or anything like that. Like your clients could, uh, you know, people who take your courses could leave you a video testimonial <laughs> saying how much they love working with you. And the secret with doing a video testimonial is to always mention your own business as well. Because it's easy to get caught up in the love That's and the excitement so about the person I'm leaving the testimonial for. And then you go, yeah. oh, wait, I didn't say anything about my business. So you, <laughs> you need to right. include what your business is and how they helped your business. Um, so if I'm leaving like a video testimonial for you, I would start out saying, hi, my name is Tracy Matthews from TracyMatthews.com and FlourishAndThriveAcademy.com um, or whatever, correct? Right. Like that's like kind of how you, would you lead in with it typically? Actually, or Actually, I wouldn't lead in with that. I would lead in with, um, you know what, I was looking for a way to up my sales and I turned to share at Video Rockstar University and oh my gosh my jewelry started flying out the door. I run, and, and my sales for my course, I run flourishandthriveacademy.com or tracymatthews.com and things started to shift once I put the video into the mix. So, so I would start awesome. with more like... Like the lead in of like what the service is. Yeah, like okay, what, awesome. what, That's what, where I was stuck. You know, I needed sales or I needed to build my list or I needed, awesome. you know, what, whatever it was that was really the main thing that you got. I would lead with that and then say, you know, because my business is da 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 da, and this helped me with my business in this sort of a way. And right, so sort of like a regular testimonial, you right. want to lead in with like the right, sort of like the things you're struggling with and how that transformed. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Another fun thing is to leave video comments on other people's YouTube videos, which is nobody does. It's just like hardly ever done at all. How do you do that? Um, in the section that says leave a comment, you can click on leave a video response. And then it just films you leaving the video response? Well, you can either like if you have a camera with or, that. or you can choose a video you've already filmed as a video response. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. I'm going to try it. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> have you done some? I want to go check them out. I'll ask you after. You know oh, what? I don't think I have done. I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here giving all this great advice, but yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm so busy making videos for other things. So yeah, I, I don't. I think I did one maybe like last year or something, but I haven't. I haven't. But I have done some video testimonials. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So um, I want to now like get a little bit more specific for yes. jewelry designers. Do you have any specific ways that jewelry designers can use uh, video for their business? And um, I think we mentioned it. I, I can't remember if I mentioned this already or not, but your husband is a jewelry designer. He is. He is Yay. a silversmith. Yay. And, I love him. Um, and he might be a, a lot like other jewelry designers in that he does not really like being on camera. <laughs> Even Does he like his hands on camera or anything? I don't know. Well, no, I don't think he minds his hands on camera, but he just doesn't really enjoy being on camera, even though he's a rock star as well. And, uh, of course, you married a rock star. Gorgeous <laughs> and all that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, so I've been talking to him about how I'm going to get him on camera. And one of the things I think that will make anybody comfortable is to use the new Instagram video tool because you can do it on yes. your phone and you barely have to be on the camera at all. In fact, you could be on it for maybe three seconds because the Instagram video is already, it's 15 seconds long. That's it. That's all you get. But rather than taking your phone and just going blah, 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 blah for 15 seconds, yeah. I want you to get creative and do some little branding and, and take the phone and a pencil and write the name of your company on a piece of paper and film that. I love that. And then film a piece of your jewelry and then turn the camera around to you and film something, you know, and every time you're, you're holding the button, you're recording. So you can set each shot up. 
I love it. Because you, can, you can just like, you can record like five seconds, let go, five seconds more, let go, five seconds more. Yep. Oh, so you can segment it. It doesn't have to be like it's all. Not one long thing. You could do three seconds, five seconds, two seconds. That's a great idea. It's really fun. Really, really fun. You could treat that as like motion picture Pinterest. And if you love start that. getting creative with that, you know, you could, you know, depending on what your jewelry is, you know, you could do a color theme on one time and a metal theme another time. You know what I mean? You could really start expanding with some cool, you know, shapes. Maybe you do a bunch of hearts or maybe you do a bunch of, in my case, skulls for Bam. <laughs> <laughs> you You're like I mean? skull and crossbones, yeah, poison. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so, you know, you can do a lot of different things with that. And then if you are more technically inclined, of course, making videos about the, the process of jewelry is mm -hmm. fascinating to your potential clients like me, because we see the hammers and the saws and all these devices that it just looks like a medieval torture chamber. <laughs> There's something that's super cool about like pounding the crap out of a piece of metal too. I don't know. <laughs> You would know. <laughs> I don't know what that says about you. See, but that would be great, great comment on video. There's your, I know. your Instagram video. There's something great about that. I know. I don't know what it is about. Oh, oh, here's my camera, my phone. I don't know what it is about uh, banging the shit. Out. Oops, whoops, I just said that. <laughs> That's okay. It's rock and roll, baby. You can swear. I know. <laughs> Sorry for everyone's ears for my yes. cursing. <laughs> So I have one more question for you, girl. Yes. Um, what are some of your favorite ways to use video to sell? And can you give us some specific techniques? Yes. Maybe think, selling without selling, I guess. Yes. I I, yeah, I do think that um, it's, it needs to be selling without selling. I think the key to selling is to be of service. When you're solving somebody's problem, you're being of service. And a couple ways you can go about that. One is to always share your excitement. If you have a story that you can tell us that shares your excitement about a wonderful situation with the client, you know, maybe you made something for, a, you know, a, a wedding, a wedding situation or, you know, a baby's baptism or whatever, you know, something like that where we all go, oh, and then I'm going to remember that for my own life events that I have coming up and I'm going to think about you because you told this story and it doesn't have to get all super personal. You can relay it back to how it made you feel. Right. To be a part of that. You know, I mean, that's an and incredible that, I mean, thing. For me, this like, you're giving me so many good ideas because this is what I do all the time. So, totally. um, I, I, yeah, I have a couple people in mind that I'm going to actually like maybe do stories on that. I'll get their permission, of course. But like, I just worked with this couple who, uh, got married in, I think July and I was working with them in May for their, their engagement rings. And they're like just the sweetest couple and he's so nice. And, um, I love to feature them. He's like, in the, after the thing, he's like, we really love working with you. Can you save the mold in case you want to get um, another ring for like an anniversary or something? And I was just like, of course, you know, just That's super awesome. excited. To, they're just like awesome. You know, so there's so many ways you can just like incorporate other people's stories into your own, right? Definitely, definitely. And, and when you do that kind of storytelling, you're sort of presenting like, you know, they needed this thing and you were of service and you were the one to provide it. So you're already telling me you're reliable, you respond well to deadlines, you work great with other people, you're a problem solver. I'm getting all of that just from you sharing your excitement about that story. So that's powerful. Thank you. I'm excited. Yay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I have some, I need to kind of work on some marketing. So I'm going to actually do some of those stories. That's perfect. Yay. Um, Sure. Wow. I, I have like five new ideas of things that I'm going to be doing for my jewelry brand and promotion coming up for holiday because, um, as we all know, it's one of the, the biggest times of the year for jewelry holiday sales. And I'm really excited to have you involved in Ramp Up Your Holiday Sales. Yay. Yay. We're going to be doing um, – uh, Cher is one of our bonus contributors, and she's going to teach us uh, a lot more about – using video to promote your business, your jewelry business. So Cher, thank you again for being here with us. I am so excited to know you as a person and to have you in my life as a video mentor. Um, and I take everything, all the advice that you give me um, to heart, even if I don't follow your recommendations right away <laughs> with the eyeglasses thing. 
I promise I'll get it after. <laughs> to be implemented later. I know. Yeah. See how her lighting's all beautiful and mine's like, I look kind of purple and she looks a beautiful golden blonde. Well, that's <laughs> because of this tool that I didn't get. <laughs> oh, so this is, I feel like this is another good example of how you can, how you teach people about how to really um, present good videos with like minimal equipment. I mean, cause you're just using your, your Mac camera, right? This is my hey, iMac both are using camera the same tool. and I am lit yeah. with a $30 Home Depot fluorescent tube with a standard diffusion panel on it. And, uh, and then I'm using a tool that Tracy was talking about for the iMac for any Mac, rather, for any Mac computer called eyeglasses, which is $20. So my investment to look like this is uh, $50 total. It's amazing. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to mount the tube thing, but we'll fig I'll figure it out later. I'll at least get the eyeglasses today, I promise. Yes. Yeah. With, with eyeglasses, you can do amazing things with your lighting. Really amazing. Just, okay. just the look uh of your video. Yay. Well, Cher, okay. where can everyone find you? Of course, they can find me at VideoRockstarUniversity.com and they will get free training as soon as they sign up with um, lots of video tips about your videos. And um, I also send out a lot of weekly or semi-weekly emails with more tips to keep everybody rolling and keep the momentum going. And if they just want to find out about me, they can go to ShareRoss.com. And if Share, of course, is spelled like Share the Wealth, S-H-A-R-E. Share Ross. I like that. Share the wealth. Exactly. I love it. Because you are sharing the video wealth. There you go. <laughs> and the rock and roll wealth. I and love the it. Rock and roll. Share, thanks again for being here. And of course, I'll have all the information posted below the video. And I'm so excited to be um, chatting with you and working with you in the upcoming months. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Have a Bye. good day, hun. Bye.